This is my new Breville, or not Breville, I'm sorry, Bonavita uh, coffee or tea kettle. Water kettle? Water kettle. <laughs> my brain is not working because I need coffee. And it's all in our store. Yep, it's in our store on our website, but the cool thing about this is I can set the temperature of the water, let it go, and if I wanted to, it'll hold the temperature there. I do like it. Oh, RV Trek checked in. Hey, uh, let's see. We've got people coming in from California, Oregon. Al, yours from McMinnville, Oregon. What's up, Al? Hey, Al. Look forward to seeing you on the road soon. Hey, we have someone checking in from Malaysia. How Are you cool still live there? So, was that on one of our top three? destinations it, it was in one of the destinations for international travel so yeah. i used to live in uh kl or for everyone else kuala lumpur for a little bit when my dad was working there and i would love to go back to the country because that was back in the early 90s let's see we have someone checking in from england very cool missouri Hey, people from Wisconsin. All right. Go Packers. Al says he is picking up his new trailer on Thursday in Mesa. And it's all Joe's fault because you wrote your book. And now he's hitting the road. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for the plug, Al. That smells good. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. So I don't drink coffee anymore, but I still love the experience of smelling the coffee before Joe grinds it, and then after he grinds it, and then after he brews it. Um, and I find it very therapeutic to watch you make coffee. So going back to the comment before, I use a measured scoop of coffee that I've weighed out previously so I know how much I'm getting in. That's what goes in. And that's the scooper that came with your AeroPress. Correct. Okay. And more people checking in from the UK and all over Texas. Hey, we have someone from India. Oh, Hello. Awesome. India is definitely on our list of places to go one day. It is. And the UK. I don't mm -hmm. think there's anywhere we don't want to go. No. I would say as long as we, as long as the area is relatively stable, like we don't have to worry about an impending war or something like that, we'd go. Yeah. And air quality. I have to say air quality does play a factor, too. So right now, I am rinsing out my filter. And why do you rinse out your filter? So you don't get the paper taste. And if there's any paper dust or things like that, you can get rid of it. Because this water, after I've rinsed it, has a little, I wouldn't call it a funky smell, but you can smell the paper and you can... Taste it? Mm-hmm. But sometimes yep. you forget to drink the water. I do. And then my coffee tastes weird. So if you do that, don't forget to drink the paper water. Mm. May I smell? So on this one, I did a coarse ground. It's a darker coffee. I don't know if you guys can see that. See. But, mm, it smells really good. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, Al, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Al. And good luck with the trailer this week. I'm excited for you. Everyone's loving the sticker. Awesome. I need a haircut soon. It's getting long. Yeah. I have to say, when I first cut Kate's hair, I was like, oh, this is interesting. And it's taken me a little while, but it's really growing on me. It's growing on me. The problem is, since I cut it, whenever I'm looking at her, if I see a stray hair or something like that, I kick myself and I'm like, man, you gotta be, you gotta do better next time. So every time I'm trying to get it better, I have to learn how to do a fade though. You have to up your game. I do. Okay. So, uh, someone is asking to send you coffee. <laughs> Where can they send it to? Leave us a comment on the website. I would love some coffee, but at the moment I'm a little bit over... Um, oversubscribed, so yes. to say. We only have so much room in the van. So if you leave a message on our website, I'll have your email address, and then I'll shoot you an email once I'm running low. And we have a place you can send it. Yes. That's always the tricky part is where the shipment is going to go. So but 
But our website is uh, wherethearussos.com if you haven't checked it out. So you can leave a comment there. So when I'm making coffee in the pour over, the first thing I do, I pour water in to wet the ground, grounds, and this is what's called blooming. Uh, there's CO2 in the coffee and when you wet it, it gets rid of that CO2, some of the bitterness and other things. Once the CO2 stops bubbling out of the coffee, I pour in a first pour, I'll do a second one, and then I'm done. The gentleman who wants to send you coffee is from Dubai. Oh, very cool. Want to say hello to Robert. Thanks for joining us, Robert. <laughs> um, Robert, what's going on? Someone wants to know what make your grinder is. Oh. So, get it so you can see it. This is the Berville. It's their Berville Burr Grinder. It's pretty pricey, but I would say out of all my coffee making gadgets, this one is my absolute favorite. Um, and you've had that for over five years, five, yeah. six years? I don't know if you can see, but let me turn it on. So on here, I can actually set how many cups of coffee I want to ground for. Um, if I change it to very fine, so I can change the coarseness level. Uh, if I go to very fine, it'll actually come down to how many shots of espresso you want to make. Mm -hmm. So that's really nice. Uh, this is the coarse grind size. Uh, and the grinds also come out very uniform. So if you're using one of those blade grinders, what ends up happening is uh, the coffee beans are getting crushed, so to speak, with the blade. And you'll get some coffee that is very coarse other pieces of coffee that are very fine sand like almost and it's not really good it'll make a very bitter coffee plus the blades create a lot of heat so it burns the coffee because there's a lot of oil in those beans this makes sure all your coffee grounds are coming out uniform you can set the grind the amount all sorts of stuff leave it and every time you go to make coffee you can get the same amount every time and the espresso works really well. So when I used to drink mm -hmm. coffee, Joe would make me lattes and cappuccinos all the time. And you use the espresso setting. Yep. And it and turned out really well. Another cool feature, which I don't use anymore, is you can put all your coffee in a hopper up here. And just anytime you want to make a cup, you push a button. The reason I don't use it anymore is, as I mentioned earlier, I use a very specific measure for my coffee so I know exactly how much is going in. Okay. And for people who are asking about the Leo sticker, um, as I mentioned earlier, you can get one of these by running into us. So if you happen to see us on the road, just ask us for a sticker and we'd be happy to share it with you as long as we have some left. Um, a bro, thank you for the super chat. Uh, how about learning a little did Spanish? Say, did you say a bro? A burro. Oh, burro, yes. Yeah. Sorry, I thought you said bro. I thought I'd say burro. Uh, how about learning a little Spanish and visiting countries in this hemisphere? Lots of choices. Would you like to answer that? Yes. So we love Central America. Um, we've been to Costa Rica and Panama. We would absolutely love to get down to South America and Spain. Kate has been dying to show me around Barcelona. She went for work one time. So that is at the top of my list of countries to go to, and I seriously need to learn Spanish. Right now, see. yes, see. <laughs> right now, the um, only Spanish I know is kind of the Los Angeles, uh, some of the slang and things. Outside of that, no good. Yeah, we have hola and mucho gusto down, but we need to learn more. So it would be nice to spend some time in a Spanish-speaking country and really immerse ourselves and learn the language. I feel like that's the best Cheers, way to guys. do it. Hello from Torchies. Oh, oh, hey, Sandra. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, who's, who's tuning in from Torchies? If you guys saw this week's video, we spent a few days with Sandra and Steve. Thank you guys for your hospitality, for yes. your, letting us use your driveway, and taking us to Torchies. That place was awesome. RV nice. Trek is drinking hot chocolate. Very cool. You know, there are multiple. Hey, Lillian Walker. She's having V8. You know, there are multiple people in this chat that yeah. have had my coffee. Yes. And someone asked how they can drink, get a cup of your coffee. Meet us in person. So everyone who has had a cup of my coffee, we've bumped into, 
uh, Sandra and Steve, we were camping on their driveway and I made Sandra coffee one morning because mm-hmm. Steve doesn't drink it. Uh, moving Forward Adventures, they came over, hung out with us, made them coffee. Well, no, you made Kenny coffee. Well, Sabrina doesn't drink it. She she wouldn't have anything here anyway, <laughs> unless it was hot soup. <laughs> and even then. Another inside happen. joke. Uh, yeah, you made quite a few cups of coffee. For people. And yeah. tea. And tea. Yeah, it's not just coffee. Joe is the barista in the family, so he makes my tea every day. So you don't have to drink coffee if you come hang out with us. You can have tea as well. You do meet us and would like a cup of coffee, but you prefer to put sugar or cream, you'll have to bring that because we don't have any of that in the van. No, and you'll probably also have to bring your own cup because we really don't have spares. No. Please, can you say the make again? It sounds like just what we want for your burr grinder. Oh, it's a, it's a Breville. But if you go to our website, we're the Russos.com, at the top of the page, you will see a link to our store. If you go into the store, you'll see all of my coffee making gadgets. So you can go down and see all the stuff I use to make coffee every day. Yeah, so the tea kettle is there, the grinder, mm-hmm. AeroPress, and the pour over. Yeah, and this is all stuff sold through Amazon. So it's just a link to Amazon. Any reason why I stopped drinking coffee? Good question. So I stopped drinking coffee for, well, let me take a step back. So when I first met Joe, I realized fairly quickly that he had a coffee drinking problem. And after dating for a while, I just got into the habit of drinking coffee with him whenever he had coffee, which was quite often. And eventually I decided to give myself a break and not drink coffee for a while. And that lasted for, what, about a year or two? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then when I reintroduced coffee, it started giving me the jitters. So my hand would shake and I, my heart started palpitating. So I started having a, a reaction to the caffeine. So ever since then, I really don't drink it. I'll take a sip every now and then, especially if Joe says, this is amazing coffee. You've got to try it. I will drink it. Uh, but even then, it's just a few sips. So that's the reason why I stopped drinking coffee and switch to tea, which I'm really enjoying. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to the tea from uh, Brian. Yep. Yeah. So I've got a Westlake Dragon Well loose leaf green tea and a herbal blend. Midnight a, Sun. A fruit and citrus loose tea. So these should be good. Looking forward to that. Do you have a go-to coffee? Um... I would say uh, Demitas in Los Angeles. Their Costa Rican is one of my favorites. Uh, that would be, if anyone was going to say, I can get you a coffee from anywhere in the world, that would be it until I find something better. That has been the number one. Number two is Thump? Um, I would say the Washed Ethiopia from Thump up in Bend, Oregon. And then actually friends of ours that have Facing West Coffee, they sent me a geisha that was fantastic. Uh, but there's just something special to me about that demi toss Costa Rican. All right. Well, I think that was a fun live stream. It was. And you got to make your coffee. And I'm now I'm going to sit down and enjoy it. Yes. So thank you guys. Wait, let me, let me see. Thank you all <laughs> for joining us for our live stream. Uh, we just decided to have a little fun. Mm-hmm. Open some packages, make some coffee. That's always a good time. Yeah, and everyone's been asking or saying Cup of Joe was their favorite series until we canceled it. Yeah, the few people who watched it really loved it. So we figured this would be a nice ode to the old Cup of Joe. And we might do this on a more regular basis. We'll see. Yes. So thank you guys for joining 